Hello lovely humans and welcome back to the channel or just welcome in general if you're new. Today we're going to be talking all about Mayo which is an incredibly beautiful county on the west coast of Ireland. It's along the Wild Atlantic Way. There's coasts, there's beaches, there's mountains. It's absolutely stunning. Um, yeah, so I visited twice last year um, with my mom and then my friend Jen and saw a bunch of different things, stayed in some beautiful hotels and this video vlog is just going to go through all of that. Um, it's it genuinely one of my favourite counties in Ireland. I love it so much. I would literally live there in a heartbeat and hopefully you will see why <laughs> when you continue on through this video. Okay, so before we get into it, I've got to remind you to make sure that you give this video a little thumbs up, which really helps me out with YouTube. And um, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure to click subscribe down below and the little notifications bell as well. And if you want to leave me a comment, that would be great because I would absolutely love to hear from you, like if you've been to Mayo or what you think of Mayo or what you think of the video. Anyway, okay, I think I'm just going to move on and let's get into this footage. Woohoo! One of the best things about driving through Mayo is the incredible scenery. That's me with my mom there on our road trip. And um, yeah, it's just super green. There's mountains, there's sheep, there's cows, tiny country roads. Uh, you don't want like a huge vehicle for a road trip in Mayo. But as you can see, like stunning views, islands, sea, mountains. It's just incredible. That's Kilpatrick in the distance there. Um, and look at this view when you come around the corner. Oh my god, I love it so much. So I've just arrived in Westport in Mayo and we're staying in the Nokrani House Hotel. Um, so obviously I'm going to give you a little room tour. A little hallway into the insane bathroom. But look at this. There's a switch for the jacuzzi so you know it's good. the jets now little dressing room I think there's some robes in here and look at this giant space where did Jen go are you lying behind the bed no. are you behind the door they've <laughs> <laughs> left us I think a little box of chocolates here and a lovely little kit of toiletries and yeah, so this, look at the views. Guys, look, let's go Patrick. There's a pilgrim path slash hiking trail that goes up Crowpatrick and takes about three or four hours to complete. It's about seven kilometers. The views are insane from the top. This is the hotel restaurant and the food was so good. And if you look right at the window, you can just see Crowpatrick in the distance as you see in the photo on the left. So we're in Westport House at the moment. We just did a walking tour of Westport and now we've driven about five minutes to get to Westport House where we're gonna have afternoon tea and a look around the house. So I will show you now. Here for our afternoon tea and they've set up a private afternoon tea in the library for us. I feel like Belle from Beauty and the Beast. It's so magical. So afternoon tea in the private library costs 30 euro per person and you have to request to book it in the private library. Normally they just do it in the cafeteria. Um, but there's lots of stuff to do in Westport House. There's loads of activities for the kids as well as obviously seeing all these stunning rooms that you can see in the footage. Um, but there's like real dungeons. There's the swan pedalos outside, which you'll see in a minute. Um, like there's all the history with Grace O'Malley, the pirate queen, like there's so much to see. You could easily spend an entire day, if not a weekend, at Westport House. Okay, so one thing I get really annoyed about is like people not knowing that Ireland has beaches. Obviously, we have beaches. It's an island. So anyway, Mayo has some incredible beaches and Silver Strand is my absolute favorite. It's basically hidden. We had to just like follow road signs. It wasn't on GPS at all. There's like little islands in the distance. There's mountains in the background. There was about maybe four other people on the beach with us. It was spectacular. Another beach that I went to was Old Head Beach, which was a bit more packed because it was easier to get to. Um, it's actually a really small car park, but um, we got there. It was beautiful. Look at the views. So stunning. Um, yeah, like, I mean, it, Ireland has beaches. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> 
We're here in Mayo on the Wild Atlantic Way and we're staying in the Mulvaney Park Hotel for the night. Um, so of course, as usual, it's time to do a little room tour. Hello. Big old bathroom, there I am. Ooh, nice shower. Um, and out into the main bedroom. Have a little seating area. TV, some chocolates, but the main thing, look at this view. Oh my God. Woo. So my favorite thing about this hotel was this like pier outside and oh my God, I went down at nighttime and took these like dark sky photos and it was just so stunning. The moon looked like it was just touching the water. There was nobody out there. So incredible. So the Great Western Greenway is basically like a walking slash cycle path and no cars are allowed on it. It's 42 kilometers, so it's like perfect for a marathon. It runs from Westport to Ackle along some of the most scenic parts of Mayo. It's absolutely stunning. Um, I didn't see anyone other than cyclists on it, but that's like, you can definitely walk on it. You can definitely horse ride on it as far as I'm aware. Um, and yeah, it's just absolutely beautiful and it's nice to know that you're safe and that you're not going to encounter any cars and it's just a really, really great way to see Mayo. I did have the option to cycle this, but as you know, I don't cycle. But maybe if I could have gotten a horse, I would have happily horse ridden up the Greenway. Um, but I, as far as I can see, everyone seems to be cycling. This was one of my favorite adventures in Mayo. The Ballycroy Wild Nefin National Park is just, it's just stunning. It is what it says on the tin. It's wild, wildly beautiful. Um, this is Jed, our guide from the tour company Terra Firma, and he took us all around. It was absolutely such a good tour company. He knew all the best spots. Um, yeah, like this place is absolutely stunning. I would have loved to spend like the entire day there. We already spent way longer than we were supposed to anyway. There's some of the locals there. Um, it's absolutely beautiful, must visit. So we're hiking through the wilderness <laughs> to get to what is, I'm promised, an amazing waterfall. So we'll see, fingers crossed. <laughs> So I brought my mom with me on this trip and I'm actually, I was so impressed with her down the waterfall. Like we were just like tramping through, like no trail in sight. And she fell over a few times, but she did so well. And she got to the waterfall and everything. So we're out doing the Letterkeen National Looped Walk and it's about six or seven kilometers and normally takes people on just under two hours. I'm not sure if we're gonna do the whole walk after a waterfall adventure, but I'm hoping we do because it's got some serious views. Look at this. Stunning. So Ballycroy is basically famous for being like one of the oldest peatland Atlantic blanket bogs in Europe. Um, it's also a designated dark sky park gold tier. So apparently that's pretty good. Um, Jed from Terra Firma, they run tours in the winter months when it actually gets dark early enough. Um, so they do lots of great dark sky tours. And there's also a dark sky festival annually, um, usually I think in November. And um, there's also a really, really great visitors center in Ballycroy National Park, which you'll see a little bit of footage from in a minute. Um, but yeah, this hike was very easy. I think we did like the Bothy Loop, which is the smallest possible one. And it was about six or seven kilometers. Um, and it was really easy. Like none of us had any problems. I had like hiking shoes on and it was fine. He did say sometimes if it's been raining, it gets a bit boggy, but it was actually totally grand when we were there. Um, but lots of just beautiful scenery, rivers, mountains, everything. I um, highly recommend you'll absolutely love it. So you can visit the visitor center, which has lots of info about the local flora and fauna within the park. It also has a really nice cafe called Ginger and Wild. These are the views from Ginger and Wild. Um, there's like a nice outdoor deck, which I was sitting on while I filmed this. Oh, and this is Fluffy, the local village dog who comes up to the visitor center to get some attention. 
Gosh, Mayo is so beautiful. How have I never spent much time here before? I know the rhododendron is bad, but it looks so good. <laughs> Purple everywhere. So this is literally just the typical views as you drive along the coast of Mayo, along the Wild Atlantic Way. Like we were just pulling the car over wherever it looked nice and hopping out and taking pictures and video. And the whole coast was so scenic all the way up from like Westport up to Dan Patrick Head, which is where we're going to go in a minute. But yeah, just that rhododendron is an invasive species and it's terrible for every other bit of flora, but it looks so pretty. So we have just arrived in Mount Falcon and of course I'm going to give you a room tour and um, they actually do falconry and everything like that hence the name. Okay, so here's the bathroom, big shower, big bath, fancy toiletries. We have the main room, two full length mirrors which I appreciate. Big bed. Don't see any USB chargers yet, but we'll see. Mount Falcon has the most incredible grounds as well on the estate, and they offer these spectacular falcon walks where you can walk through the grounds with falcon, and it's just once in a lifetime experience. So the guys from Paddle and Pedal took me out kayaking on the River Moy in Ballina and we even saw little seals and it was just so serene and really great experience. If we're talking dramatic scenery, Down Patrick Head has to be one of the most beautiful places in Mayo. Just this huge like sea stack in the distance, seagulls and birds like swirling all around it. Um, like obviously there's lots of history there as well with St. Patrick and World War stations. Um, but yeah, for me it was all about the scenery and they have like this like little wildflowers and this marshy grass everywhere and it's just so, so beautiful. I really liked it. I could have spent hours there. Okay, well, I guess that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that that gave you a few ideas of what to do and see in Mayo. And I hope if you had never thought of Mayo before, I hope that, you know, has added Mayo to your bucket list because honestly, it is such an incredible and underrated county in Ireland. I am looking forward to going back when we're allowed to leave our houses. <laughs> um, yeah, really love my time there. Okay, so as per usual, if you don't mind giving the video a like, I would absolutely love that. Thank you so much for watching to the end. I really, really appreciate it. Um, if you want to leave a comment, I would love that. I'd love to answer any questions you have um, or if you have any recommendations or anything you want to know, just let me know down below in the comments. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, you know the drill click subscribe down below and turn on the little notifications bell so that you know when I'm posting a new video. Um, if you really like Irish content, obviously I'm from Ireland. I have a big Irish travel section. That is the word, section, on my website, um, which I'll leave a link to down below in the description of the video. I have an article about Mayo, which covers even more about than you know more of the things to do in mayo than are in this video um and yeah there's a lot on my website if you want irish content um so check it out uh what else have i got what you say oh i also have a patreon where you get early previews of my videos and that will be linked down below what else do i need to tell you i think that's it guys sure i'll let you go um Okay, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> bye, 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 bye.